In this video, we're going to talk about things associated to waves, like the period, the frequency, the amplitude, the wavelength. So let's say you have a graph, and there's a wave on a graph. This is one cycle of the wave. This is two cycles, three cycles, and so forth. The time it takes to complete a cycle is known as the period, and it represents the symbol that represents the period is capital T. The distance between cycles is the wavelength, and that could be in units like meters, feet, miles, but meters is the most common unit for wavelength. The amplitude is this portion of the wave. It's one half the distance between the peak and the trough. So this is the peak of the wave. That's the top part. And this is the trough, which is the bottom part of the wave. Now the peak of the wave is also known as the crest. So perhaps you've heard of the expression, you know, the wave crest, that's the top part of the wave. The frequency is the inverse of the period. It's one over T. Now the period is typically measured in seconds. It could be any unit of time, it could be minutes, hours, but the standard unit of period is the second. And the standard unit for frequency is Hertz. So one Hertz or one Hertz is one second to the minus one. It's one over S. Now the speed of the wave is basically the wavelength divided by the period. So you can see this as wavelength times one over the period and one over the period is the frequency. So the velocity of the wave or the speed of the wave is the wavelength times the frequency. So these are two important equations that you want to remember. Frequency is one over the period and the wavelength times the frequency is equal to the velocity. Now, if you want to calculate the amplitude, and if you know the maximum value and the minimum value, the amplitude is basically just one half of that. It's the max minus the minimum value, which gives it a range, divided by two. So that's how you can calculate the amplitude of a wave. So now let's work on some problems. Consider the graphs shown below. Determine the period wavelength, frequency, and amplitude of each wave. So let's start with the period. The period is the time it takes to complete one cycle. You can also calculate it by taking the total time, dividing it by the total number of cycles. So how many cycles do we have in the red wave? Starting from here, this is the first cycle, second cycle, the third one, and this makes the fourth, the fourth cycle. So in 12 seconds, this wave has undergone four cycles. So 12 divided by four is three. That means it takes three seconds for this wave to complete one cycle. So this is three, this is six, this is nine, and that's 12. So that's the period, the time it takes to complete a single cycle. Now the frequency is one over the period. So that's one over three seconds, which is approximately 0.33 Hertz. The period, I mean, the frequency is also the reciprocal of this formula. The frequency is the number of cycles divided by the time or the number of cycles that a wave goes through every second. Now, let's talk about the amplitude. We can't find a wavelength for this particular wave because we just don't have the information. In this particular wave, the red wave, we have time on the x-axis, meters or displacement on the y-axis. 
when you see units like meters, feet on the y-axis, that means that the wave, it's a displacement wave. You're measuring displacement with time. So we can't find the wavelength for that, but we can find the amplitude. The amplitude is basically this number, 5. Keep in mind, it's the top number minus the bottom number divided by 2. So it's 5 minus negative 5 divided by 2. So this becomes 5 plus 5, which is 10. 10 over 2 is 5. So in this case, the displacement amplitude is 5 meters. So that's all we could do for the first wave. Now for the second wave, the blue wave, notice that we have meters on the x-axis. That's going to help us to find the wavelength. Now we don't have time or seconds in the x-axis, so we can't find the period or frequency for the blue wave. But we can find the wavelength. So this is one cycle two cycles, three cycles. So 30 meters divided by three cycles, that means that we have 10 meters per cycle. And that's the wavelength, the distance between cycles. So the wavelength in this example is 10 meters. Now we can calculate the amplitude for this wave. I probably should have designed the problem better rather than saying, you know, determine all four of these for each wave. Now, on the y-axis, we have voltage. The max voltage is 12. The minimum voltage is 4. And we're going to divide that by 2. 12 minus 4 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So the amplitude for the blue wave is 4 volts. So now you know how to calculate the period, wavelength, frequency, and amplitude of a wave. Let's move on to this problem. A wave undergoes 1,200 cycles in 5 minutes. What is the frequency and period of the wave? We could use this formula to calculate the frequency. The frequency is the number of cycles that occur every second. So if we take the total number of cycles and divide it by the time, we can get the frequency. Now we need the time in seconds, so we need to convert minutes into seconds. And keep in mind, there's 60 seconds in every minute. So multiplying 5 by 60 will give us the time in seconds. 5 times 6 is 30, add a 0, we get 300 seconds. So we have 1200 cycles occurring in 300 seconds. So let's cancel two zeros, so it becomes 12 over 3. So there's four cycles occurring per second. So this means that the frequency is 4 hertz. It's the number of cycles that the wave goes through per second. Now that we have the frequency, we can calculate the period. So remember, the frequency is 1 over the period. The period is also 1 over the frequency. So 1 over 4 hertz, 1 over 4 is 0.25. So this is going to be 0.25 seconds. So that's how you can calculate the frequency and the period of this particular wave. Now let's move on to number 3. What is the wavelength of a 3 kilohertz sound wave traveling at 343 meters per second? Now if you remember, the wavelength, which is represented by the Greek symbol lambda, wavelength times frequency is equal to the velocity, or in this case, the speed of the wave. We have the speed of the wave, which is 343 meters per second. We know the frequency, it's 3 kilohertz. K means kilo. Kilo is 1,000, so this is 3,000 hertz. Our goal is to calculate the wavelength. So if we divide both sides of the equation by F, we get the wavelength. The wavelength is the speed divided by the frequency. The speed is 343 meters per second. The frequency is 3000 hertz. Keep in mind, one hertz is one over seconds. So the unit seconds will cancel, giving us the wavelength in meters. So now let's do the math. So it's going to be 343 divided by 3000. And so the wavelength is 0.1143 meters.
If you multiply that by 100, you can convert that to centimeters. So that's 11.43 centimeters. So that's how you could find the wavelength given the frequency and the speed of the wave. Number four, a wave has a peak to peak length of 25 centimeters and a period of 40 milliseconds. What is the speed of the wave? So let's draw a wave. So this is one cycle of the wave, but if we continue it, now we have a second cycle. You could find a wavelength between these two points or from one peak of the wave to the other peak of the wave. So that peak to peak distance, that's the wavelength. So we have a wavelength of 25 centimeters. Now let's convert centimeters to meters. One meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters. So we got to divide by 100. So 25 divided by 100 is 0.25. So the wavelength is 0.25 meters. Now the period is 40 milliseconds. One second is equivalent to 1,000 milliseconds. So if we divide 40 by 1,000, we'll get the period in seconds. 40 divided by 1,000 is 0.04. So that's the period, 0.04 seconds. That's the time it takes to go from one peak to another, or the time to complete one cycle. Now the speed of the wave is the wavelength divided by the period. So we have the wavelength, which is 0.25 meters, and the period, which is 0 0.04 seconds. This will give us 6.25 with the units meters per second. So that's the speed of the wave, 6.25 meters per second. Now, what is the frequency? The frequency is one divided by the period. The period is 0 0.04 seconds. So 1 divided by 0.04 is 25. So we have a frequency of 25 hertz, or 25 seconds to the minus 1. So this means that this wave undergoes 25 cycles every second. So that's basically it for this video. Hopefully it gave you a good idea into the concept of a wave and features of a wave, like its speed, frequency, wavelength, and period.